In this video I'm going to show you how to use trigonometry to find missing angles in right angled triangles. Okay, so the first thing to remember is this will only work if the triangle we're given is right angled. Um, and we're going to look at the finding angles. Now there's a um, an a expression here, so katoa, and I used to pronounce this in a, kind of in a Japanese sort of silly Japanese sort of sound, sakatoa, and uh, used to make students laugh and hopefully remember. There are other Acronyms, um, and I can't remember really myself, but other teachers will tell you I think silly old hat um, that carries on to help you remember. But Soka Toa is the one that I have used. And the reason for that is that we're told that sine x, and I'll explain what this means in a moment, sine x equals opposite over hypotenuse. So you've got your S, you've got your O, and you've got your H. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And then cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is opposite over adjacent. Now to explain A, O and H, in the triangle we're working with an acute angle called X. This is called A because it's opposite X. This is called A adjacent. Now adjacent um, means next to, same as being next to, they're, they're next to each other. And the hypotenuse is the largest side in the triangle. You'll always find that opposite the right angle. Now, um, your computers are programmed, or sorry, your calculators are programmed, to tell you the angle here given ratios. Because once the ratio of a triangle is fixed, so what I mean by that is once we know the side length, we know the proportion, you know, the, the adjacent here is 5 twelfths of the um, hypotenuse, then that will only come from one angle. So the calculator is programmed to tell you what that angle will be if you tell it what the ratio is. So if we take um, the ratio cos, well, we can see that cos x here equals 5 divided by 12. Now by pressing the cos minus 1, 5 divided by 12, you're basically saying to your calculator, look, in this particular triangle, the adjacent is 5 twelfths of the opposite. So by pressing that button, it will tell you what angle will give you that ratio. So I have um, my calculator ready, and I'll quickly show you um, how to do that. Now I'm using a, a calculator that's built into the um, iPhone. Um, your, cal your calculator might be different, so you've got to check you can get the same answer as me. Now you can see here I've got I've got the cos minus one button. So cos minus one, and now it's expecting the ratio. So I'm going to put five divided by twelve. Now press equals. It should give me the correct um, angle. And it's saying it comes from a sixty-five point three seven. So we have got x equals 65.37, so I'm going to round that to one decimal place. And now, the reason we have three ratios are there are three pairs of sides in the triangles that we um, can compare to get angles. So I'll show you another one now. We'll find another missing angle. So if we have Say so this side is 8 and this side is 9. And we've got to make sure we pick the correct formula according to the sides that we were given. So you should notice that 8 is the opposite and 9 is the adjacent. So if you go back to your formulas, then the, uh, that is the tan ratio. But what we can say is then that tan of our angle equals 8 ninths. So then to get the angle itself, we do tan minus 1, 8 divided by 9 into our calculator, which I'm going to do. So let's go back to this one to clear it. Alright, so go to tan minus 1, 8 divided by 9, and equals, and our answer is 41. I'm just going to round this off, um, you can see it's 41.63, I'll round it off to one decimal place. So that's how we use trigonometry to find missing angles in right angle triangles.